Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development. Welcome to Tarleton's Commencement Ceremony. We are excited to share this celebration with you and your graduating students. This long-awaited day has finally arrived, and the program is about to begin. You've waited a long time for this day, so I think applause are quite in order. As the procession is ready to enter, now would be a good time to silence your cell phones so that everyone can enjoy the ceremony without interruption. The academic attire worn by the participants derives from the traditions of medieval European universities. Among the faculty and administrators, most gowns are black. However, some are in the color of the individual's alma mater. The president's gown is, of course, Tarleton purple. Colorful hoods are worn by those ho holding doctoral or master's degrees. You will notice graduates wearing stoles and some wearing cords. The stole represents the Tarleton colors and can be worn by all students. The cords reflect different academic honors and organizations. Making the procession even more colorful is the presentation of 24 international flags. Each country is represented in Tarleton student body. Each of the academic colleges will be represented by their respective college's unique academic banner posted by the side of the stage. President D'Ottavio and the stage party will enter after the international flags. These distinguished individuals will be seated on the platform and will be introduced during the program. Following the stage party and leading the way is Dr. Don Beach, President of Faculty Senate. He is carrying Tarleton's ceremonial mace, the traditional symbol of the university and its authority. Following him and escorting our faculty, staff, and the December 2015 graduating class are our faculty marshals, Dr. Jennifer Edwards and Dr. Kim Reinerson, and our student marshals, Dr. T. Wayne Schwartner and Dr. Chris Gerhardt. At the end of the ceremony, the stage party and the faculty members will process out, followed by the graduates. Please remain seated until all the graduates have left the auditorium. Please keep in mind there are several ceremonies today and we need to allow time for our facility staff to make sure the area is just as clean and safe for those in the next ceremonies as it was for you. After the ceremony is over, please proceed as soon as possible to the exits to celebrate with your graduates who will be waiting outside. If you are on the upper floor, you will exit on the stage side. With the appropriate pomp and dignity, the procession will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Anthony Purcell. Please rise to greet the procession. <laughs>
Good morning and welcome to the 207th commencement of Tarleton State University. This is a magnificent day as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To open this ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior performance major, Ms. Kayla Lincoln. She'll be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Anthony Purcell. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for the Division of Advancement and External Relations. Gentlemen, I ask that you please remove your caps, and I ask all who are able to please stand and remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation.
Este, Home. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were the bombs bursting Please join me in the invocation. On this commencement day, while we have all traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that has passed and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. We ask that these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge and abilities to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions for our time to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. Congratulations, graduates. This is a glorious day as we celebrate your achievements. Today is a milestone for you and certainly for your families and friends. You have worked hard, you've sacrificed, and I expect you have dreamed of reaching this day. Some of you have been on this journey for a long time. Others made it here in record time. Whether you were in the fast lane or you stopped along the way to smell the roses, you have all arrived at the same place. Today, you will become a Tarleton graduate. Many things have changed since you entered this university. Disruptive innovations have transformed the way we live and work. Think about it. Uber transformed the taxi business. Airbnb is transforming the hotel business. And senior citizens really disrupted Facebook. <clears throat> Most every grandparent I know, except me, is friend with their, with their kids and their grandkids. 
Well, you've been studying here, Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert got married and got divorced. <laughs> Four years ago, we never heard of Ronda Rousey, the selfie stick, and those terrible movies, Sharknado. <laughs> and then when I just figured out the watch me whip and nay nay, <laughs> along comes dabbing. And when a 50-year-old coach starts doing it on the sidelines, you know it's no longer cool. <laughs> Not only is the national landscape changed, but the university is as well. New facilities, new campuses, new programs. Orange has been the new purple around here with cones set up to redirect traffic around construction. But even with the orange cones, it is a great day to be a Texan and it is a great time to be a Texan. <clears throat> Even with the orange cones, we have survived, and that is why this is such a great day. As you leave Tarleton, you are taking something important with you. You are taking the Tarleton core values. Tradition, integrity, civility, leadership, excellence, and service. I've seen these values in action by the members of this graduating class. Dustin Neighbors, for example, was the leader, leader of the acclaimed aeronautical team for three years. He helped the team win a variety of national and international awards, besting the likes of MIT, Caltech, and the University of Michigan. Sandra Kimball achieved excellence by winning a fashion design competition against over 100 entries from 13 countries at the International Textile and Apparel Association Conference. Euphemia Edom defined excellence for us by becoming Tarleton's first female NCAA national champion, having won the long, long jump just last spring. April Holland and Eduardo Calderon demonstrated our traditions of civility and service by spending countless hours mentoring at-risk teens and promoting inclusiveness through our bold and mental freedom programs. And then Bill Blake's story is one of civility, leadership, integrity, and service. While vac vacationing in Aruba, Blake and his brother-in-law dragged a man out of the ocean who had no pulse and administered CPR for five minutes. Nothing happened but they refused to give up, and after more traumatic minutes passed, a faint pulse finally occurred, and the man made a full recovery. So we thank Blake and all of you for demonstrating our values in these important ways. In fact, we celebrate all of you today and the effort and the commitment that you made to reach this important milestone. Going forward, as educated men and women, as Tarleton graduates, much, is expected of you. My request of you is this, be the difference, be the difference in the lives of others, in your chosen career, with your families, in your communities. Live Tarleton's core values. Let me say that again, live Tarleton's core values. They will provide a compass in a world that is indeed changing and is challenging. And so on this special day, I offer just a few last words of advice to you. Remember that from now on, every course is, a, is an elective. Keep learning. Particularly these days, don't say something online that you wouldn't say in person. You know, just because you have a smartphone doesn't mean you're smart. <laughs> and particularly when it comes to um, programs like Yik Yak. I'd say give it up and remember, only say what you would say to somebody in person with that core value of civility front and center. Be on time, especially for your first job interview. That's a really good piece of advice. Laugh every day, leave the camera in your pocket sometimes and remember the moment in your heart. And finally, say thank you. Say thank you every day, starting with the families and the friends that are here who helped you reach this commencement day. This be day belongs to the families and the friends, and we congratulate all of you. And so families and friends, if you have a graduate in here today, we'd like you to stand 
And graduates, we would like you to thank your family and friends for all they have done for you. Family and friends, please stand. Graduates, get up and give them a shout out. <clears throat> Guys, say thank you. <clears throat> thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Would you please stand when introduced, and will you please hold your applause until all have been standing? Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Dr. Ty Minkler, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Credence Baker, Assistant Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Dr. Steve Steed, Dean, College of Business Administration. Dr. James Pierce, Dean, College of Science and Technology. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean, College of Education. Dr. David Druckhammer, Interim Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dean Kelly Styron, Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Javier Garza, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management. Ms. Janice Horak, Assistant Vice President of External Relations. Dr. Don Beach, Faculty Senate President. Mr. Caleb Chapman, Staff Council Representative. And Ms. Donna Strohmeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding Tarleton leaders. <laughs> well, as was explained before the processional, some of our graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. But there are some graduates who are wearing red, white, and blue cords, which represent achievement and honor of a different sort. They are the veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allow us to freely pursue life, liberty, happiness, and our education. And so I would like to ask all the veterans in the class and any veterans that are in the audience, if you would please stand so that we can recognize you and thank you for your service. Please stand. Good morning. Good morning. Graduates, this is your day. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Today's speaker is Ilea Danielle Kirkham from Hamilton, Texas. She is receiving her bachelor's degree from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts with a major in English and geology minor. As a student leader, Ilea was a part of the charter chapter of the English and Foreign Language Club and a member of Tarleton's new chapter of Gamma Beta Phi National Honor Society, recognizing academic excellence and community service. On study abroad trips, Ilea studied French in Nova Scotia and the art, history, and literature of the Italian Renaissance in, in Urbino, Italy. Her next destination is China, where she will be spending a year teaching English. She had an overseas experience of an entirely different sort as an eight-year member of the, National, of the Army National Guard, deployed to Af Afghanistan for 17 months in 2010 and 11. As we thank her for her service, Please welcome Ilea Danielle Kirkham to the podium. Good morning, President Tavio, Provost Murray, faculty, staff, family, friends, loved ones, and fellow graduates. I am honored for the opportunity to address you today because without your love and continued sacrifice, we would not be here. Today is not merely about just walking across the stage, but demonstrating the fruition of all your support. 
Fellow graduates, we did it. We decided, we all decided to pursue the road of higher education for different reasons. For some of us, it was the next logical step in a, of a goal locked upon years before. For some of us, we came here to continue playing the sports that drove our dreams. For some of us, let's face it, we came to higher education because our parents told us we had to. <laughs> for me, however, there was another reason, one that I know I share with others assembled here today. When I first came to Charleston State University, I was freshly home from a tour in Afghanistan. I was raw, angry, hurting, and lost. I had lost the vision for my future. My intention when I enrolled at Tarleton was not to pursue the next step or even to find the next step, but instead it was an effort to drown out what I had seen, done, and lost. I expected the classes to allow me to focus on something else for a little while, but I found so much more than distraction. Tarleton gave me direction and revived my passion and drive to succeed. This place makes strangers into family and dreams that in the beginning seem impossible to achieve a reality. My first day of class at Tarleton, I was the first person in the classroom. I sat in the furthest corner in the back and prayed that no one would sit by me, would talk to me, or even look at me. I was so afraid as I sat there watching all those happy, laughing people filling the class around me that they would see that I didn't belong there. I wasn't there to strive toward a dream or even there to put, please those around me. Instead, I was there to hide from pain that wouldn't leave me alone. Yet someone did sit beside me, and they smiled. I remember that smile, even I don't remember the person attached to it. It was in that moment I felt I made the right decision to come to Tarleton. Every professor and friend that I made over the next two years gave me back a little bit more of myself. I began to laugh easier, smile more brightly, and allow myself to give into the hope of a promising future. I was starting to let go of the pain that had clung to me for so long. It wasn't gone, nor did I think it ever truly be gone, but piece by piece, Tarleton life gave me back something to keep it from drowning me all the time. However, it wasn't until I was sitting in my British literature class and with Paradise Lost in my hand my junior year that it dawned on me. I had gone from being the student that didn't express her views or talk in class to the student who couldn't stop talking in class, with permission, of course. <laughs> I was no longer hiding. I wasn't using my classes or my friends as shield from feeling. I was transitioning from trying to survive day to day to striving toward the dream that I had left behind me years before. I had given up on my dream, but my dream didn't give up on me. It was just waiting for me to be ready to pursue it again. My experiences here at Tarleton, while inherently unique to me, also have parallels that fell by every student that's ever walked through those gates. We've all been blindsided by monstrous professors, devilish papers, and felt an overwhelming sense of being a complete failure. We have felt doubt, apprehension, and even terror that the path that we have chosen was not meant for us. Well, fellow graduates, we have persevered with long sleepless nights of studying, stressing, challenging through those moments of complete doubt if the hardship of a degree is worth all the plain sacrifice and, of course, the coffee addiction. This is our moment, our time, and our right to bask in the happiness of our triumph over the challenges the last four years has placed in, for in front of us. So as you leave here today and face your future, remember the words of Donovan Bailey. Follow your passion. P be prepared to work hard and sacrifice, and above all, don't let anyone limit your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Ilea, for your remarks. You have represented your graduating class very well. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives for all of us. As teachers and scholars, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting these students as they have worked toward this day. From the developers of Tarleton's mobile apps to the grounds crews that keep the campus beautiful, 
and to the teams that have organized these five commencement ceremonies this weekend, hundreds of staff members have made Tarleton a home away from home and have helped each of you reach this day. Like your family and friends, our faculty and staff members take great pride in your graduation today. Will the representatives of the faculty and staff please stand so that we can recognize you? And now we are to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dean Styron, Interim Dean David Druckhammer, and President Ottavio to present, recommend, and confer the degrees. Provost Murray, the liberal and fine arts have been the core of education since the age of Athens and Rome. Poets and performers who interpret the human condition through words, art, and music. Social scientists and historians who help us define the problems of our society and search for solutions. Professionals who serve the community and assist in keeping it safe. Watchdogs and storytellers who support our democracy through informing the citizenry and community leaders and teachers who think critically and solve problems in an increasingly diverse and complex society. The College of Liberal and Fine Arts is dedicated to freeing the mind and enriching the spirit. These students are prepared to protect freedom and property, to defend rights and encourage excellence, and they are prepared to become leaders in their communities, their nation, and the world. On behalf of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts faculty, I certify that they have met all of the requirements for this degree. As Dean of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, I present these students to you with pleasure and pride. Candidates, please be seated. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences please rise. Provost Murray, these graduates are well prepared to provide leadership in meeting the food, fiber, and environmental challenges of our world. These graduates are the future animal, plant, and soil scientists that will find solutions for feeding and clothing a rapidly growing world population in a sustainable and environmentally safe manner. The food scientists that will ensure the quality of our food supply. The wildlife and natural resource managers that will sustain nature for future generations educators and communicators that will provide for an agriculturally literate society, and economic managers that will provide financial guidance to a dynamic food and natural resource industry. We in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences are proud of our contributions to our, natural, to our national food and fiber and natural resource management system that is second to none in the world. We are particularly excited about the future con contributions of these graduates to that legacy. As interim dean of the college and with the approval of the faculty, it is truly an honor to present these outstanding leaders to you for the degrees which they have successfully completed. Please be seated. Will all candidates for baccalaureate degrees please stand? President Ottavio, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degrees as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as President of Tarleton State University, I confer the bachelor's degrees upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated men and women of the world to use your education in the service of others. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> You may 
be seated. Student marshals, will you please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas. <laughs> 